Hello, Star Cook. Today, Monday, I'm going to do a little short cooking show for y'all. You see, I'm wearing my 49ers hat because, you know, since the West Division, what I'm cooking this morning, I'm cooking, I have some eggs, some grits, and some beef hot dogs. I'm going to fry them, slice them, fry them. That's how I like them. Just a little something for y'all. Let me get this together. I just want to cook one. I highlight to my sister, Destiny. I'm ready for that challenge. Hi, Kiss Team. I'm back with a rotisserie chicken. My, cotton, my chicken's kind of small. He looks like a little... Cornish in, doesn't he? But that was the most burnt one I could find. And I brought him home and put him in the oven for 40 more minutes. So he's about well cooked. But yeah, that's my rotisserie chicken. I think I might have overcooked him. He kind of, kind his leg kind of had it right there. But I got me some raw honey. And you see that? And I got me some, I've never seen this before, but Texas Pete, hotter than hot sauce. And I got me some little bitty peppers. Now don't y'all come at me cause y'all done ate these peppers before. And I wasn't the first one, no I'm not the first one to eat the peppers. Yes, a couple people have eaten them. So don't come at me for these peppers. <laughs> it's like I'm just messing. <laughs> so let's start now what am I going to talk about oh what am I going to talk about oh oh look look what's on my chicken what in the world well you can tell my chicken what they had them picked up hot, hot. he's hot Oh, he wrapped up in a string. <laughs> I right, am put the string here. Leave it to Betty. Leave it to me. Oh, hold on. Hold on. All right. How should I do this? It's hot. Hold on. Y'all see that steam? What are we gonna talk about? Um, talk about me getting some chocolate milk. Hold on. Now, <laughs> what can we talk about today? Today's topic is. Hmm, oh, this is nothing but chocolate milk, y'all. Chocolate milk. I wish it was more, but it's not. I don't know how hot this sauce is gonna be, and I don't know how I'm gonna react. But today's topic, I think, should be. Oh, Y'all gotta excuse me. I've been working two jobs, moving, trying to get a house prepared. So excuse my disheveled look right now, but I'm gonna get this together. But um, today's topic is about. I think about safety of women. Um, like I sit in my car and I'm gonna try this hot sauce first on this leg. I don't even eat legs, but I'm gonna eat a leg today. But um mm. that hot. I thought it was going to be hot. I think I'm missing chocolate milk. <laughs> it's honey is good. Raw and unfiltered. Made from America's bees. Mmm. 
Love the bone. Mm, hold on. Thirsty mercy. Mm. Chicken's good. Oh, shoot. It's about to fall. And it's too hot. I can't even handle it. Um, um, I want to talk about women's safety. Yeah, but, um, we had a, um, I would say a growth in carjackings. People are just sitting in their cars and getting hijacked. So that was a kind of scare to me because I do it all the time. I sit in the car, I'm thinking, going on to my next job, I'm in my phone, I'm looking at YouTube, I'm going to get five minutes from one job to the next, um, and I'm really not paying attention to my surroundings, I'm just telling everybody, and in Delaware, I know we're up there with crime and we're on the rise, but women, be careful with just sitting in your car because these teenagers are still in cars, and they took the police on a high speed chase, and the police didn't want to chase the one kid, so they completely stopped when he reached 75 miles an hour. But the next high-speed chase, the police went on. They got in a car accident. So, I said it was kind of bad. So, I'm just saying, women, when you're sitting in your cars, be mindful. If you get that intuition, hey, something don't feel right, lock your doors. Always say, oh, it's just nothing. No, lock your doors. Because that is your body telling you that energy is coming in and it's not feeling good. Lock your doors. Immediately and get out of that area. Because something's not right. I always go by my instinct. My instinct tell me to do something. I do it. Like when I was walking from my daughter's house to my job, And it's only like maybe a four minute walk, maybe not even that. And this is this is the honest truth. I was walking and um I looked behind me and I looked around to my surroundings and I always kept a little blade in my pocket. And um there was no one around me. I crossed the street. I look again, and there's a man about 20 feet behind me. I'm like, where did he come from? So, I'm telling people, be mindful. Stay alert because he followed me all the way to my job. And then, this is 5.45 in the morning. He followed me all the way to my job. And then, walked all the way to, this, to the door, turned around like he was about, he was about to go in, and then, dip, and then dipped off to the side. That's how I know he was following me. And I went in and I told my manager, there's nothing they can do, but I said, if I don't make it to work, y'all need to wonder why if I didn't call in, if something, y'all need to wonder why. Y'all need to go look for me because I'm walking. And it was like, all right. And I was like, no, please take it seriously. So then another girl, 
I said he followed her home. He, she was walking behind her. So, uh, there's two women saying the same thing. We had to stop walking. We had to stop walking. Yep. So, uh, I was standing for myself. I looked up the laws. And I said, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go for the juggler. I'm not. Our eyes, ears, no, no, I'm going for the throat. When I take this knife out, I'm going for the throat. So, what, what am I going to get? And am I, am I going to get any time for defending myself from someone who could possibly do something to me? Yes, I would get time if I can't prove that he was trying to attack me. I would get time for having a weapon in my pocket and hurting somebody severely. I would get time for that. So, either we got to change the laws. Something's got to give to make women feel safer because, like, honestly, I should be able to walk to work. Okay, I should be able to walk to work. The other girl, she has a dog, child to feed. She should be able to walk to work. This is really, really hot. Put some honey on it. Mm, really, really hot. Mm. But we should be able <coughs> to walk to work without any, any issues. Um, so, I don't walk anymore. I love skin. Skin is your favorite. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Mm. But Christine, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching me half eat this Cornish ham. Oh my God, this skin is so good. Mm. Thanks for being so loyal to me. Thanks for being patient with me. But I get this all together. I'll get this together. <laughs>